Hello everyone, today I'll be going over how to use the benchmark jailbreak for PSO2. Now, it's not super complicated to use, but a lot of people have been asking about it, so I figure I may as well go through it. The first thing you'll want to have is the game itself, patch it to current if possible, and you'll want to have the benchmark jailbreak. You can use the JP or the global one, it doesn't really matter, and you can mix and match them if you want. So. Go on down to the PSO2 walk library on GitHub, go to releases, and get the CMX patcher download here. You'll want to open this with 7-zip. If you don't have that, then Google 7-zip. Pretty easy. As far as dependencies, you'll need the Net6 desktop runtime x64, and you'll need this, the VC Redist x64. You might have this one already, but you know it just depends. If you want to transfer characters from current PSO2 to this, then you'll need to go and download the NGS Salon tool, and you'll need to receive them from their current probably V13 to V10, and that should be a pretty simple process. You might need the Net5 desktop runtime for that, but you may not. But just in case, go and get that. now. Now that we have that in there, let's go over the NGS Salon tool and just go over resaving. Obviously, you would need to set a PSO2 bin here. It's not going to work well without that. But once you do have that set up, we can go into our folder here. Let's say we want to go into Anna Banana Chan. I'm sure everyone remembers that from PSU. Now, we can go and do a lot of things in here. But for the purposes of this video, all we're going to do is resave that into v10 and we're going to put that in here and then it should load up just fine so that's that out of the way and as far as actually using the tool itself we're just going to open up cmx patcher from all this don't worry about anything else again we're going to set pso2 bin currently i have it set to this this is the steam directory you can use jp or that remember that but yeah, not a big deal. Now we're going to do jailbreak benchmark. And I'm going to use the character creator for NA slash global. Again, you can mix and match that if you want. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to do that. I've already copied all the files, but if you haven't done this before, this may take a while because it's about 13 gigabytes of data. So yeah, just be ready for that. And now that that's done, we're going to go into the game itself. <sighs> Nothing special here, you know. We've, we've seen this a lot if you've played this game. But we're going to go into character creation. And as you can see, pretty standard stuff here. But you'll notice that once we get in here, we have a lot more options than usual. A lot of these aren't normally here. And we can select any of them we want. We can be this, 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 even some of these. But, you know, it's just whatever. Obviously, you'll need to hit stuff that matches still, but that is what it is. As far as accessories, you can select anything you want, and you'll notice that all of them have one, except for these ones like this. Which, by the way, these ones that don't have icons are usually debug or NPC stuff. And either way, they're probably not meant to be used if you see them, but in some cases you can use them if you desire to. It's just what it is. But if they're nine, they're for accessories, then you probably can't load them at all. So... The next thing is, you know, going and loading the creation data. Now, obviously, that one that I picked earlier, you can see that came out there. You know, funny looking little character. That's fine and all. But you can also do NPCs like the Miku and Luca. So if I want to do that, that loads up. Now, you can't necessarily bring this into the full game. That's just how it is. But. You can definitely load them up here and see them and everything. You can put different hair on it, as cursed as that might be, so 
can do that. Obviously you can see this is really not made for this, but you can do that. And it works perfectly fine. But yeah, again, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of this stuff, if you're going into the stuff that is only for NPCs and the like, don't expect it to load in the main game because the game still has IDs for them that it expects you to own. And if you don't own them, then it's just going to give you that funny little error message that a lot of us have seen. So anyway, that's really about all. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any more questions, then please feel free to ask and have fun with making crazy character stuff. Peace.